Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo, and in this video I'm going to talk about truck games for the Sony PlayStation 2. 18-wheeler American Pro Trucker was released in arcades in the year 2000, and ported to the Dreamcast in 2001, and it was released for the PlayStation 2 in 2001, and for the Nintendo GameCube in 2002. In the game, you have to deliver your cargo in the time limit. If you haven't noticed, the game is arcade. While delivering the cargo, you also race other truckers. And you get bonuses if you deliver the cargo before the competition. Also, you can slipstream behind the trucks to gain more speed. You also get extra time if you complete challenges that appear like smashing into certain cars. And when you deliver your cargo, there is a parking mini. The stages all look very detailed and the game has diverse settings. You drive from New York to San Francisco, California. So you can guess how many different levels you get. Also you can choose if you want a heavier cargo that pays better but it's harder to pull, or a lighter cargo with which you can compete the time trials easier as you pull it easier so your truck is faster. The game is awesome, it's fast paced, challenging and has a lot of variety. The King of Route 66 is the sequel to 18-wheeler American Pro Trucker. This game has a story. You have to defeat the evil organization known as Tornado. You choose between 5 truckers, each with its own stats, one is better at speed, another one at torque, and so on. And you get to defeat some truck villains. Thugs. You start out in Illinois and progress through Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, and finally California. Also aside the story mode, named King of the Route 66, you also get another mode, called Queen of Route 66. In this one, instead of delivering cargoes in a time limit and racing other truckers, you'll mostly just collect stuff on the road. There is also a challenge mode, and some minigames. Emblem Catch 1 and 2, Convoy Golf, Moving Targets, Destroy the Cars, Long Haul Slam, Protect Any, and Sooner the Better. Each of these generally involves item collection or destroying objects before the clock runs out. You also get split, split screen multiplayer, so that you can race against a friend too. And even if it's a small detail, I still find it cool. You can put Nitro on your truck. It sounds crazy, and it is fun. So Big Mother Truckers sounds funny, and the games, the two games, were intended to be funny, and they would have been great games if they were not so repetitive and boring. In the first one, Ma Jackson wants to retire and promises her property to the trucker that can get the most money. You choose between multiple truckers, you select your truck and go on the road in a wonky fashion. The driving is arcadey and linear, you go where the GPS tells you, and you don't have to be careful how you drive, this is not Euro Truck Simulator or 18 wheels, you don't drive like that in these games, you drive like a big mother trucker, meaning that if you bump into cars they just bounce off, and even you even get bonuses for that, but you have to avoid hitting cops and bikers, bikers steal your cargo if you hit them. They drive near you and jump on your truck on a fast and furious style and steal your stuff. You also get to the bar where you can play slot machines to make more money and will have to talk to the bartender for tips on where your truck jobs are best paid. And this, get, and this gets very repetitive. I mean, you do the same stuff over and over, but in different cities. Go to the bartender for tips, then take on jobs and follow the GPS, and so on. It just repeat, you just repeat the process. And driving isn't that exciting either. It gets even annoying at times. You also can race other truckers, but that is just frustrating. Considering 
what controls you have. The wonky controls don't give you any satisfaction when you race. But luckily, races are optional, so you can just decline the offer to race. And aside the story you get also a mission mode, where you can do stuff like smash targets on the road. So they tried to make the experience more varied, but I don't know, something about it makes you get bored easily in the game. And in Big Mud the Truckers 2, Truck Me Harder, Big Mud Jackson was thrown in jail for tax evasion. You bail her out and then you need to go in multiple cities to bribe judges to prove her innocent. And to bribe someone, you need money. So you do lots of truck jobs. And in Mother Trucker 2, you get to drive in other vehicles too for some short missions. But after you've played in another vehicle, you get to realize that the bad driving controls from the first game were good compared to the other vehicles in the second one. Other differences that 2 has is that the driving controls are tighter now and better, not as wonky as in the first one, and that the physics and graphics have been improved. Too bad that the games are repetitive and get boring pretty fast. They could have been great games if not for these flaws. So the second game tries even more to be varied, but I don't know, as I said, something about the games makes them boring after some minutes. And it's a shame, because the, the, the game developers really tried. You can see that they tried to make the games varied and enjoyable. They are funny, they are promising on paper, but when you get to play them, you get bored easily in them. Maybe I was expecting too much. Okay. Let's hope that they are going to make a Big Mother Truckers 3 and it's gonna blow everyone's minds. Oh, and just because I said that the games are boring, don't get the black and white picture and consider these games bad. They are not bad. They are average games and I dare to say even above average. And also they have humor and that is a great plus in the games. Ok, so this was the video, if you liked it, please see the like button and subscribe, and if you want, follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord, I left the links to those in the video description. Also, if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching!